Hi, I decided to talk to you from this bathtub because, because uh, I think it's a good way to utilize my time instead of wasting my time. I don't want to just take a bath and uh, not feel productive. So what I want to talk about is actually this very thing how to feel that you are satisfied with the way you live your life because life can become very short and uh, we don't know of course when it ends but uh, life is not long and when you look back at it you often feel that you've lost a lot of your life Do this it. by the way is not completely uncommon to mm, people in the history of of, of talking of Philosophizing, for example, in ancient Greece, people often wanted to like to talk while having a good time. So sometimes they were dining, sometimes they were taking a bath and talking. So I want to tell you about how to live to the fullest. That's the topic of my talk today. I believe that to live to the fullest, carpe diem, we have to develop three aspects. And again, a three aspects of human existence. And again, I will refer to the ancients, to ancient Greeks, who thought of three aspects of human existence as the body, the mind, and the spirit. And so they developed three structures close to one another. The body was developed at the stadium, the mind was developed at the theater, and the spirit was developed at the temple. And those three structures were built next to each other, next to one another. And uh, I think that we should work on those three aspects of human existence. How do we do that? Well, body is easy. Just go to the gym or go swimming in the summer and skiing in the winter and you'll be fine. Of course, eat healthily as well. Mind. It is more difficult to develop your mind, but you should read every day. Go far beyond what your school offered you, because the school stops at a certain point and most people just watch TV after that, which is, uh, you know, just some shows or, or news and so on, and don't develop their minds. I think it's very important that, you, that we study far uh, beyond what the school offers. So until we retire, until we die, we should study, learn new things, because they are useful, beneficial, and we can come up with new ideas, new ways of enjoying your life by studying things. Uh, so, how do we study? Of course, reading books, watching videos, but also writing. I think it's very important when you get some knowledge to analyze it and evaluate it by yourself. So, I think writing is a good way or making some kind of a commentary in a video form, for example. Finally, let's go to the question of how to develop your spirit, spiritual side. I think the spiritual side uh, needs development and I think that one of the ways to develop your character, for example, is to make yourself, set yourself some short-term goals every week. For example, it's kind of like a New Year's resolution, but every week. For example, the resolution to be less greedy. Or, so, how do you do that? So, you decide, okay, I want to be less greedy this week, so I won't be buying things that I don't need. I don't go to a shop and I don't buy meaningless things just because I have some spare change and just because I have this greed in me. Next week, do you decide against gluttony? So, okay, I don't want to overeat. I will eat less and this week I will try to reduce what I'm buying as far as food is concerned. Another time you may want to be compassionate and so go and help other people that week. Dedicate that week to helping others, not only people of course, but also other beings, animals and so on. Another time you may want to, for example, be less jealous. So try to ignore the fact that some guy is interested in your girlfriend or in your wife and try to be generous about it genuinely, not just only by you know, clenching your fist and mm, clenching your teeth and thinking, okay, I don't care that he's talking to my girlfriend, but by genuinely not caring and being kind of satisfied with it. Is it possible? Can you do that? I don't know. It's difficult, but it's a way to develop your character. Of course, discipline and so on develops your character. So 
what kind of image do you have in your mind? What would you like to be, you know? When you try to become a better person, think about an image of somebody that impresses you and try to be like that person. Think, what would my teacher, master, the idol that I have in mind do? So, who is my master, first of all, my idol? Well, in my case, Buddha, Jesus, St. Francis of Assisi, these kind of people, Gandhi. So, uh, when I think about what they would do, I try to imagine that, uh, yeah, they would be very um, kind, compassionate, and uh, they would be tolerant, understanding, uh, they would be friendly, they would be knowledgeable, they would be aware of what is right and what is wrong. So they would have all those qualities that I want to imitate, therefore and so I want to develop as well. So, to develop yourself, it's a way to become happy because 